the mystery of Babylon. The whole earth was one language and one speech. Out of it was born the Tower of Babel. Nimrod would rule the land. This has to be the most fascinating time because during this time, the world was all one. Nimrod was the ruler and people were not cave-like like we might think they were. They had intelligence. These people were living hundreds of years. They were overlapping each other. Generations were overlapping each other. So there was a lot of experiences that they were learning from. And I believe that these were some of the most intellectual people in the time of Babylon. And I also believe when God saw that these people were able to build a tower and enter into heaven, it was not just making a tower high enough to go to the skies. These people were smarter than that. I believe these people, they knew the technology of how to literally create from shrines or mystical energy or whatever energy at the time or whatever studies they had at the time that they were able to create portals to enter into that heavenly realm. Current times depict the history of man originating from apes or cave-like beings. Perhaps our ancestors were not as naive as we imagine or are taught in our institution. I believe there is a dumbing down uh, through these institutions in our modern society to dumb down the public because we're taking away the essence of what God is about and God's presence in our own bodies, in our own life. But by claiming that man is just an uh, ape or, uh, or maybe originated from you know, a primate, it's, uh, it defeats the purpose of getting the true history out to the people. Then also when you look at the Tower of Babel, Tower of Babel proves that man was superior in its thinking, in its intellect, especially when God of heaven, El Elyon, the Most High God, the possessor of heaven and earth, says in the Bible that these people can do what they have imagined. Imagine God is giving credential to these people in the time of the Tower of Babel that they can do what they can imagine. That, folks, boggles the mind.